Police in an unusual location tonight to help others dealing with domestic abuse. Sydney Hood was at tonight's event at a local rage room where Felina Martin shared her story of survival. Within the last year, we've reported on at least four cases where a husband killed his wife. More than 2,000 domestic violence cases are prosecuted yearly, according to the city. And when we hear domestic violence, our minds turn to physical assault. But that's only one piece of the puzzle. It's the emotional abuse that comes just before physical. And it just may be a long time before that happens, but it's a risk factor that doesn't get talked about often enough. <laughs> It ended up with me realizing that if I did not get out of that marriage, I was going to kill him. I was a survivor when I made the decision that it was a situation I was no longer going to accept for my life. And here, life is not taken for granted. I actually end up taking a step back and being grateful for my life right now. That's what got me through from chapter to chapter. It's no fairy tale. It feels like hell, but there is the other side of it. You do not have to stay in that hell. A situation far too many find themselves in. Even if it hasn't happened to you, it's very likely it's happened to someone that you know and you may have never even been aware of it. Last year alone, 2,000 clients reached out for help. But at least in our shelter and our hotline calls, we are seeing an uptick. So I definitely anticipate that we're going to see more than the number of clients that we saw last year. More clients means more people reaching out for help. It takes about seven times for a person to leave and return to the abusive partner before being able to leave for for good. Leaving is the scariest part. Just ask anyone here. It took 10 years of building courage to expose my story. Each story is different, but the celebrations here are the same. We're celebrating the success. We're ce celebrating dreams. And then we're also doing it in a healthy way by breaking some shiggity. <laughs> Safe Homes has a 24-hour crisis hotline, a 30-day shelter, and the, also there is a national domestic violence hotline. We'll have